Welcome to Power Search. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on future content. In this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to merge two projects together in order to create one sitemap. Here are the two separate projects relating to the same site. These were scanned on different days and not linked using the scanner. Firstly, create a new project, just to keep everything clean. Give that project a name and then click OK. As this is a new project, it doesn't contain any data. Following on, click the Projects and Storage button. And here, in the Projects list, is my newly created project. And just below that is the Merge button. I can now click that and nominate from the list which projects will be merged into my newly created project. So I will select SAB Basement to begin with, followed by OK. And now Cyclone is asking me to select a version. Versions are like timestamps within projects. Think revisions in conventional CAD software. To learn more about versions, check out this video. Click through the OKs and Cyclone will start to merge the project. You can track the progress on the blue bar. I'll close this and then from the Open Project dialog, my new project is now visible and it now contains one sitemap, two bundles and nine scans, which are all merged from the basement file. Click Open to launch this. Visible on screen is the basement data. And to now merge the ground floor data into this file, I can repeat the process. In doing that, and to recap that workflow, start on the project and storage dialog. Select the current project, drop down to the merge button, select the merging project, which is now the ground floor file, select the version, click through the OKs, and finally import. I can now close this window and when I launch the new project dialog, my project has now updated to contain two sitemaps, four bundles and 18 scans. As I open the project, the two sitemaps are displayed over here on the left. It is important to note that because the ground floor file was imported into the basement file, its sitemap name has been updated to match the host name. To understand a bit more about sitemaps, let's break this down. This highlighted sitemap has three setup groups. Two enclosed as bundles, where the setups have been linked, and one standalone setup. Highlighting a setup on the browser will select the setup on the point cloud. Here it is highlighted in blue. If I right click, I can delete this, and in doing so, the number here changes to two. I will undo that and proceed with combining these maps into one single sitemap. I will expand the sitemap above to confirm that it currently has two bundles as shown by the number two here. Following on, expand all of the bundles from within the sitemap that you want to remove and select each setup holding shift to add selections. Once all are selected, release shift and click and drag up to the sitemap. A small arrow will appear confirming the move. And now there are four bundles and one standalone setup, making five setup groups in total. I can now delete the redundant sitemap. Right click and click delete. I have now successfully merged two project files together and combined their contents into one sitemap. The next step in the workflow would be to link these setups together. To learn how to do that, please watch this video. I'll be sure to drop the link in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if it was helpful and consider subscribing for more helpful content in the future.